So today we're going to look at this cool 3D glasses effect or kind of glitchy effect. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new document. I tend to stick with around 4000 by 5000 pixels for a nice kind of Instagram shape. I'm then going to drag my portrait into the other tab. I'm going to hold down V for the move tool and release. And then I'm going to press Command T to transform this to the size or the right size to fit the canvas. Then holding Command J, I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here to FX and Blending Options. Here you've got three different color channels, red, green and blue. I'm just going to turn off blue and green and hit OK. And then on the second portrait, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to turn off red and green. And already you can see that both have changed color. I'm just moving these using the Move tool with the V button. Then what you can do is just have a play around repeating the exact same process but switching through the different colour channels until you get some kind of colours that you like and the composition that you like. Now you may have noticed at the start that I didn't mask my portrait and it's on a white background and this affects the way my colours work when I change the colour channels. So if like me you're thinking, oh I wonder what happens if I cut out the face, you'll see that it gives you different colours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask for the portrait using the object select tool. And then I'm going to go down here to mask that portrait and you'll see already those colours have changed. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the processes of experimenting with the different blending options to see what types of different effects I can get. Now I quite like this pink and blue and at this point you might be thinking the same as me. Wouldn't it be nice to have a different colour background but don't be fooled. I'm going to add a new layer here and then go up to edit and fill and fill it with a black background. And you'll see that it completely changes my image once again because the colour channels have been changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask the second portrait which will change the background again because it will no longer be white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the same process of experimenting with those different blending options until I get a colour mixture that I like. So now you can see I've got this really 3D glass looking effect, but the image is still kind of dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten it with the brightness and contrast and just move those up and down until I've made the face stand out a little bit more. And if like I've just done, you've brightened the entire image, don't forget to hover between your two layers and then click option to apply it to the layer. I'm then going to apply that to the second portrait as well to brighten that up a bit. And finally move them around until I've got a satisfying composition. Now that I've had a play around with a portrait, I'm going to put the portrait on top of some trees to have a look at some different effects. So I'm just going to drag his face on top of those trees and repeat the same process of the blending options and changing some of those colour channels. Now already you can see that's given me a pretty cool effect so I'm just going to resize this using Command T and moving the trees around until the composition looks a little better. And then I'm going to go through and just test out some of the other colour blending options. Now one thing you can do here in addition to changing your colour channels is having a look at the blend modes up at the top. 
um, you see the drop down box there's tons and tons of different ones you can choose from have a scroll through them and see which ones look best in your particular images some are more vibrant than others and some just don't work at all of course it completely depends on your images so have a play around with your own images have a look at changing the color channels have a look at your blending options and have a go at masking different portraits